Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 2, Ratios. Class for Exercise 1. Come up with two examples of ratio relationships that are interesting to you. <clears throat> How about, my brother watches twice as much television as I do. The ratio of number of hours he watches in a day to the number of hours I watch in a day is usually two to one. Okay, how about another one? How about this one? Um, for every two chores my mom gives my brother, she gives three to me. So therefore, the ratio is two to three. Exploratory challenge. A t-shirt manufacturing company surveyed teenage girls on their favorite t-shirt color to guide the company's decisions about how many of each color t-shirt they should design and manufacture. The results of the survey are shown here. So there's a heading. Favorite t-shirt colors and teenage girls surveyed. There are categories along this axis here, this horizontal axis, and it says red, blue, green, white, pink, orange, and yellow. And then an X is posted up onto here for every person who chose that color. So one likes red, four blue, two green, white is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just to make matters easier, I think that's one thing I would do when I'm doing a problem like this, is write the number that is in, and I read it too, write the number that is in this, and there's one Red X. <laughs> there's four blue. There's two green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven white. One, two, three, four, five pink. Three orange and four yellow. So it just makes it easier if you write how many there are in each. You don't have to keep counting or if you miscount and so forth. So exercise for exploratory challenge. One, describe a ratio relationship in the context of this survey for which the ratio is three. Okay, so what they're saying is we want to describe a ratio relationship of 3 comes first to 5 coming second. So orange is 3, pink is 5, so we're talking about orange and pink. Okay, so I would say the number of girls who answered orange to the number of girls who answered pink, 3 to 5. For each ratio relationship given, Fill in the ratio it is describing. Okay. Next page. These are the directions on the first page to here, all right? So anyway, for every seven white t-shirts the manufacturer, they manufacture, they should manufacture four yellow. The ratio of the number of white tees to the number of yellow should be, so white to T, white to yellow. White was seven. Yellow was four. Just keep track. Make sure you are not putting them in the wrong order. Four to seven would be incorrect. Okay, now it says for every yellow shirt, so I'm just going to make a little note here what they're talking about. They should manufacture seven white. So now it's yellow to white. So now I just need to rearrange these fours and sevens. The ratio of the number of girls who like white t shirts to the number of girls who like colored t shirts like a colored t-shirt best. Okay, a ratio of the number of girls who like white t-shirts best to the number of girls who like a colored t-shirt was what? Okay, so now I've got to go back to the previous page. Okay, so red, blue, green, pink, orange, and yellow are all what they're considering colors, and white is comparing white to the total of all the other colors. So there's four, six, seven. Seven and five is twelve. 3 is 15, and 4 is 19. So we have 19 that are not white. So white to colored shirts would be number of white, 7, to the number of colored, which was 19. Okay. For each red t-shirt they manufacture, they're talking red, they should manufacture four blue t-shirts. So it's red to blue. It should be a ratio of 1 to 4. The ratio of the number of red t-shirts number of blue t-shirts should be that what I just said. 1, 2, 4. They 
to purchase four bolts of yellow fabric for every three bolts of orange fabric for the three. So a bolt, this word bolt, you Google it, a bolt of fabric. Okay, so I just Googled it for you just so you get an idea. Because sometimes when we do work problems, we don't know what we're talking about, and it's nice to know. So I Googled bolt of fabric, and this is what they are. They're these boards with the fabric wrapped around them. So if you go into a fabric store, this is how they store them. So Joanne here has this rainbow colored fabric. Okay, so just so you know, that's that. So a bolt, four bolts of yellow fabric for every three bolts of orange. So the ratio is. The ratio of the number of girls who chose blue or green, blue or green, that's their favorite to the number of girls who chose pink or red. So I need the total blue and green. So I have to go back a page. Four blue, two green, total six. So that would be six blue or green, two pink or red. And I go back and look at pink, red. Red one, pink five, one plus five is six. So it's a ratio of six. I can reduce that one. That's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. Three out of every 26 t-shirts they manufacture should be orange. The ratio of the number of orange t-shirts to the total number of shirts should be. So three out of every 26 t-shirts they manufacture should be orange. Three should be orange out of the total 26. The ratio of the number of orange to the total is three to 26. Okay, for three, for each ratio given, fill in a description of the ratio relationship they could describe using the context of the survey. Okay, so there it is. They should make four yellow t-shirts for every three orange t-shirts because there were four yellow, three orange. The ratio of the number of yellow t-shirts to the number of orange t-shirts should be four to three. Now let's do three to four. They should make three orange t-shirts for every four blue t-shirts. The ratio of the number of orange t-shirts to the number of blue t-shirts should be three to four. 19 to seven. For every 19 color t-shirts, there should be seven white t-shirts. The ratio of the number of color t-shirts to the number of white t-shirts should be 19 to seven. Now seven to 26. Okay, seven out of 26 t-shirts should be white. The ratio of the number of white t-shirts to the number of total t-shirts should be seven to 26. Okay, that is the end of lesson two. Go to your problem set.